Hey everyone, we are here with John Fisher, product director for our lightweight products at Jayco. Wanna say hi? Hello Jayco Nation, how you doing today? I am Ashley Lehman, the director of marketing here, and today we're gonna show you everything that you need to know about the 2020 White Hawk products. We have two floor plans here, the 32RL and the 32KBS, 32 which KBS. just recently won RV Pros, best of show from the RV open house that happened in September. So very exciting. You guys get to take a peek inside today. John will tell you everything that you need to know about White Hawk in general, and also what's new for 2020. Um, if you have questions, drop them in the comments below this video and we'll be sure to answer them as we can. Other than that, John, tell us what we need to know about the new White Hawks. All right, thanks Ashley and thanks everyone. Um, first of all and foremost, we wanted to show you the new 32 KBS. Um, during the fall open house week, they have hundreds of, of RVs on display of all different types. And within that travel trailer category to win an RV Pro magazine uh, top award, we were just super ecstatic all across you know, Jayco. Uh, so we wanted to show you the 32 KBS. That, that uh, model has been out for a while now, but it is still one of the newer Whitehawks. And then we have a brand new triple side 32 RL that we wanted to show you. Both of these models are larger White Hawks within the lineup. Um, both range in that 36 to 37 foot overall travel length. Uh, the box lengths are in that 32 foot range and the UVWs or, or the dry weights are in that uh, high 700, or I'm sorry, high 7,000s. Uh, one other thing that we wanted to point out that we're really excited to show you, you'll get to see it when we go through the interiors, is the 32 KBS, there's two new interior decor packages that, uh, that the lightweight brands at Jayco are offering this year. And in Whitehawk, you're gonna have Cashmere Cottage in the 32 KBS. And over the last year, there's been a huge buzz, huge buzz on Modern Farmhouse White, which was debuted in Eagle last year. That's in our 32 RL. So we're gonna point out, before we get started, we're gonna start on the 32 KBS. We're gonna point out some exterior features that are new, some that have been around a while on Whitehawk. Um, but I wanted to start out by saying, going from the 19 to the 20 model year, exterior wise, we did not make any changes. We've had such a good run with the White Hawk since we redesigned it in 2018. And we went with a monochromatic graphics package and also kept the clover mist, which is, is the main color on the sidewall with the, the polar white uh, band at the bottom. The reason the monochromatic is important is because any tow vehicle is gonna look good behind it. It doesn't matter if it's white, silver, black, red, blue, your tow vehicles are always gonna look really good. Now, for 2021, we may look at a new design uh, uh, with the graphics, uh, but overall, we're very happy with the exterior and got a lot of great retail feedback based on the exterior look of the White Hawk. So if we can walk around a few things over here, this is a new feature in J Feather Travel Trailers and White Hawk for 2020, and it's, it's battery quick disconnect. We've had a lot of retail folks and dealers ask us to add this feature to our models. Most of the time it's located in the, on the off camp side uh, in the passenger or the pass through storage. It's just a super nice feature because it you know, helps alleviate that battery drain. Um, when we went from the 2018 uh, to the 2019 model year, we took a lot of uh, what were optional features on White Hawk and just made them standard, rolled them into a package. So one thing we did is 30 pound tanks are now a, a standard item on White Hawk and have been since the 2019 model year. Um, I'll talk about the front cap when I'm in the inside, but when we debuted and redesigned the 2018 White Hawk and we added this front windshield and it's an automotive style windshield just like you would have in your car, we, the retail feedback has been awesome. And it's great from the outside, but especially when you're on the inside, it just opens up whatever room you're in uh, with the windshield. Couple little things we did, um, again, based on retail feedback, we added magnets. Uh, the plastic clips, you know, that's, that's getting to be a thing of the past and our, our retail public wanted to see us put some uh, magnetic catches on our ba baggage doors. We have the thick exterior baggage doors with the slam latch and now the magnets was added so that's a that's a really nice feature we've for many model years had the frameless windows which a lot of the the uh, the uh, our consumers like it just has a clean look 
and has a nice tint on the inside so you have UV protection and things like that. Um, awnings. Awnings are very important. So back in 2018 when the, we did the redesign, we had a list of many things that were major design criteria. One of them was the awning length. We wanted to make sure that most of the time when a family's camping and making memories, they're outside under the awning. We wanted to give you as much awning space as possible. On the 32 KBS, it is a 21 foot awning, which is the max awning length that you can have uh, on a single awning. And then in regards to the 32 RL, you'll see that model a little bit later, but it has a campsite slide out. So when we have that kind of a scenario, you can see the awning on the slide out and then on the other side what remaining wall we have it's like an 11 and a 10 foot awning so we get still get 21 feet of coverage but you've just got two awnings over on the 32 rl a lot of folks retail folks will say hey what's what's this plastic block on the on my sidewall i, I don't know what that is and it's just simply it's a it's called a key block but it's a tv bracket so when you buy a new White Hawk or a J Feather travel trailer, you'll have this key block and in, in your goodies packet, you'll have a TV bracket that you can attach to a uh, 24 or 32 inch TV and it just clips on, clips on the sidewall. It's got a little lever here to release it. It's got a quick catch and there you go. You can watch TV under the awning while you're out here making memories. One other uh, key design feature for 2020 was we redesigned all of our outside kitchens. They're standard on the applicable White Hawk models, but one of the key things that we did is we went to this embossed metal base. And why that is nice is that in the morning when you're getting some dew or condensation that can build up on your outside kitchens, it's protected, it's not gonna rust, you just got a nice foundation for your outside camp kitchen. Um, we've got a slide out capital grill it's called, which is acts as both a burner and a grill. Got a nice little bottle, Jayco bottle opener for you, spice rack in here. Um, plenty of countertop space, 1.7 cubic foot refrigerator with inside temperature control. Then you've got a little slide out, another tray with sink, and then the nice tray for silverware or other things you want to store. And then you got a quick disconnect uh, faucet here and you can in its place attach a hose, which is nice because you can be out here washing the dog, rinsing the kids feet off after they just got back from the beach or whatever so those are a few things here on the side a few things on the rear of the coach that we wanted to mention right here yep it's a ladder why does Jayco put a ladder on so many of their units it's because you can get on a roof and we'll explain a little bit more about that later but a lot of our competition you won't see a ladder and there's one simple reason they don't want you up on the roof because it's not structurally sound like our Magnum Truss roof system. Um, we added the leash latch, which is kind of nice. It's just a little ring here where you can attach a, a dog tie or, or, or a long leash so the dog or, or the pet can be under the awning with you while you're camping and not running off into the neighbor's uh, campsite. Um, and one other key feature, two key features, we've got rear camera backup prep, which is a nice safety feature coupled with our, our Jayco Smart Lighting, which is basically a side marker lighting so if you're getting ready to turn yes your tow vehicle always has the blinker system going left to right but now on on most jayco towables you have the whole rv around the perimeter the right side will flash or if you're turning left the left side will flash if you're backing up you've got rear backup assist and you, it'll it'll show a person behind you that you are in reverse and coming backwards so those are a few of the key features and then i wanted to show you a few other things here. Um, Ashley might want to mention, we're going we're gonna to get into a few of the, the construction things. And uh, if you yeah. want to. So yeah, Jayco obviously for 51 years has been very focused on quality, quality construction, solid construction so that we can make sure you're having generations of family fun. We have our two plus three warranty, two year limited, three year structural. Um, to ensure that we can give you a peace of mind that we've got you covered for two camping seasons and then three camping seasons on the structural. But John, I know in the White Hawk, even being lightweight, you don't skimp. You make sure quality construction is there. So why don't you take, tell us about those features? Yep, absolutely. From Hummingbird on up to White Hawk, you know, and, and Jay Feather in between. Quality and construction and safety are absolute key design features absolute integral to the to the uh, to every coach that we build and you know and it does start right here with the two plus three the three-year structural limited is new um, we've added that 
but it makes us ironclad. Between the two-year tip to tail and the three-year structural limited, we have the best warranty out there, bar none. But we need to back that warranty with sound construction and quality. And it starts on the foundation. It's like when you're building a house, one of the key things is making sure the foundation is strong. And I'll tell you, with our, with our uh, J Feather and White Hawk models, we really feel we have that. Starting out with the Norco Next Gen frames. It's American-made steel. The frames are huck bolted together. It's the way they build bridges and semi-trailers. We obviously know those have to be strong. And a Jayco commonality on the travel trailers is the integrated A-frame, which is ultra important in making sure you have a good frame, good base. Secondly, we have American-made Dexter axles with easy lube hubs and self-adjusting electric brakes, which is another feature. We have galvanized steel wheel wells in case there would be a blowout. But with these American-made Goodyear tires, I don't think you're going to have to worry about that. Um, about three years ago, we partnered with Goodyear. They came out with the American-made Endurance tire, which is a specialty trailer, specially made for RVs. Has the highest speed and load ratings in the industry, rated up to about 87 miles per hour. And these are E-range tires on the, on the White Hawk. Okay? The floor base then where a lot of our competition will use OSB floor decking. Everything within the Jayco product is plywood. In the White Hawk, our floors are 5 8 tongue and groove plywood, screwed and glued down. And then I'll get, get into the roof system in a little bit on the Magnum Trust roof, but that is also 3 8 plywood decking. If you go into a Jayco unit, lift up the bunk mats, the dinette cushions, the uh, mattress, or if you go and stand in a shower or tub, it's plywood. We have plywood bases. There's no OSB, there's no thin Luan board. It's all built with quality construction. So one other thing that you'll hear us talk about is Stronghold Vacuum Bond Lamination, okay? And all of our sidewalls, our rear walls, our main slide out, slide room walls, and the end walls of our slide out are vacuum bond laminated you're not gonna have adhesion issues. It, it's a sound, strong adhesion uh, that all of our, our walls go through. A lot of the competition does pinch roll lamination and a way where they'll cut corners is on your rear wall and the end walls of your slide out, they'll loose lay or hang a wall, which means they'll just take the fiberglass skin and glue it onto their rear structure. It saves them a little bit of time and a lot of money. So you want that perimeter Strong vac or stronghold vacuum bond lamination. And then to top it off, we've got the Magnum Trust Roof, which is a, a steadfast thing on a lot of the Jayco products. And, and it's, it's 50, up to 50% stronger than competitive roofs. Um, there is a great link on our website to show you all the details of the, uh, of the uh, Magnum Trust Roof. I encourage you to, uh, to take a look at that on Jayco.com. Okay, um, now we're gonna take a few minutes, step inside and go through some of the key features of the 32 KBS interior. Um, we have 30 inch friction hinge doors as you enter on the White Hawk model. And new for 2020, last year in 2019, we went to aluminum tread pull out entry steps. So you have aluminum tread. If you have a secondary door that enters into a bathroom or a bedroom, you'll still have the pull-out aluminum tread step, but we now have standard on all main entry doors, the fold-down more ride step. Light and very sturdy. And the thing that's awesome, I mean, if, if, if it's an elderly person or someone with bad hips or bad knees, you just need that sturdiness, these steps are awesome. So if you want to come on up and step into the coach. So this is the interior main living area of the 32 KBS. Before we get started, I want to, I want to do a shout out to uh, Stacy Stewart and her design team. They have been working their tails off year in and year out. And we feel collectively this 2020 model year, we have the absolute strongest interiors in the industry and again Stacy and her design team just they they should get a lot of a lot of kudos so what we've did differently last year Chris Barth and who was on Eagle at the time and Stacy Stewart got together and came up with a concept where 
the RV industry has always been, here's your wood color, and we're gonna give you a few fabric or decor little choices on your, on your dinette cushions or your valances, and you can pick out a fabric. Well, that's not the case with Jayco. We ended up coming up with a interior decor packages. So what it is, is you've got two, you can pick from one or the other. Last year, Eagle debuted it, and Modern Farmhouse White was introduced to the public with, with great results. Um, people have just loved it. The retail public said, we wanted in more brands within Jayco. So <clears throat> our design team, along with Stacy's design team, came up with the Modern Farmhouse White, which we're going to introduce. And we also came up with a, it's an alternative, maybe even a safer choice. If you don't like that white look in your coach, it's called Cashmere Cottage. Um, one thing to bear in mind that this in the E center right here, you're gonna see a darker tone. This is called bourbon chocolate. So there is a theme throughout is that if you order Cashmere Cottage or you order Modern Farmhouse White decor packages, your bedrooms are always gonna be accented with bourbon chocolate. Your entertainment centers are always going to be bourbon chocolate. If there would be an island in the coach like there is in the 32RL, it will be bourbon chocolate. Your bathroom will always be modern farmhouse white. And again, Stacy and her team stays up on the trends of homes and, and the modern homes of today. And you'll see a lot of gray tones, you'll see a lot of white tones, um, but we wanted to make sure that we gave you a choice. And also accents are very important in those homes. You just don't walk in and see one wood. You're seeing variations of different wood colors throughout the entire house, as you'll see through a lot of the Jayco coaches. Okay, so that's enough on the decor, and then I'll show you the modern farmhouse white when we get into the uh, when we get into the 32RL. Now, I've been to many retail shows with this 32 KBS over the last nine nine to ten months, and there is always they walk up and. A lot of times these doors are open, but it's, it's, it's very, very dramatic response. I get a lot of holy smoke, wow, just because this master suite is so dramatic. Not only do you have the double pocket entry doors, which really opens this up walking in, but you've got an 80 by 72 king bed with a, with a Serta mattress, awesome, people love it. Then up here, I wanted, before I talk a little bit about the windshield, I wanted to explain one other thing. In 2018, when we redesigned Whitehawk, there were some, like I said, outside, there were some very important design criteria. One of them was that no matter where you were sitting in the main living area of the coach, whether it was in theater seating or a trifold or a dinette, that you had a very good viewing angle of the television. We didn't want you to have to sit here like this to watch TV. So that was one important design. A second was to maximize the storage wherever we could. Every nook and cranny, we were gonna to try to give you some kind of a storage area. And another third criteria on the interior was window size. If, if you had a space, there's not gonna be a small window, we are gonna fill that space up, which led to the windshield. So when we, when we redesigned the cap, or, or designed the new cap in 2018, we wanted to have this big old windshield. A lot of times you do have bedrooms up here, but for Whitehawk right now, I've got a new uh, front living room model called 30 FLS that's coming out. Um, I've got a new, and then this will be in the maybe uh, first quarter, late first quarter next year. I've got a new front kitchen, and I'll tell you what, the windshield is really dramatic in those models, um, but it allowed us to make this really cool seating bench. And, you know, we envisioned, you know, if, if, if the weather wasn't so nice and there were a lot of people out here, maybe, maybe the husband's out watching the game and, and uh, it's kind of loud, you know, the missus could come in, shut the door, sit here and read a book and just relax. You don't see a sofa too often, you know, in the bedroom area. But you take the cushions and look, we got some cubby areas back here where you can store some stuff. Again, we're trying to, to maximize, the maximize the design of the model, but give you adequate storage as well, wherever we can. So this sitting bench has been a really nice feature. Again, you've got this huge campsite window. Um, that's really nice. You got the front windshield. It really lets a lot of light in. Um, then you've got this window. When we originally looked at it, we were gonna take and maybe mount the TV here and build a little cabinet where you could put maybe a 32 or 40 inch TV, but you would have just had two small windows here. And again, it went again against our design criteria. So we gave you a huge window. 
people, where do you put the TV? Okay, right here. So now you're not limited to a 32 or even a 40 inch TV. And, and with the price of TVs now where you can get a 50 inch TV for a couple, two, 300 bucks, you can, you can put a big 50 inch TV and then your TV hookups are in this cabinet. You see a fireplace. I'll talk more about that in the main part of the coach, but this fireplace is an optional um, uh, part of the of the uh, the White Hawk model and, or the 32 KBS, and it's only available in the bedroom in this unit. Um, if you wouldn't happen to get the fireplace, it adds night nice ambiance, but it has functionality too. But if you don't get it, you'll have two. Um, cabinet doors here so you'll have extra storage if you select the fireplace you have to have 50 amp service same as this every white hawk model offers a second ac in the bedroom area but again you have to have 50 amp service to select this set this uh this um uh, second ac okay so now coming out of the bedroom again bear in mind storage i walk in got a ni nice coat closet here uh, that'll have a collapsible shelf. It'll have some hooks. You got an area to kick off your shoes for a cubby, some storage underneath here. And then the, the women have really, really liked this slam door pantry. Plenty of storage for your kitchen, your kitchen goods and items. Countertop space. Um, we've added an extension for you. Um, every White Hawk comes with a, a drying rack sink cover combo and you've got a double bowl stainless steel sink. You, in your kitchen area, you always have a power tower, which has some 120 volt recepts if you wanna plug in a coffee pot or whatever, and even some charging stations with USB. For 2020, we went to a new recessed Furion 17 inch oven. It's got the neat accent lighting, but it's also functional because when you're not using the three burner cooktop, you've got some uh, extra countertop space. All White Hawks are equipped with eight cubic foot refrigerators. Also for 2020, you've got a temperature control uh, up here panel that you can, you can adjust the setting of the temperature by two degrees. And we've added a wood panel insert. Again, just a nice touch that Stacy and her team added uh, to make it feel more residential. And then going back here to the entertainment center, this is where we'll talk a little bit about the fireplace. You know, not only does it give you a nice ambiance, you can change the color of the rocks, you can change the color of the, uh, the flame, but it has functionality too. So it gives off 5,000 BTU of heat, which can heat up the 350, 400 square feet. Uh, the nice thing about it is you have a 35,000 BTU furnace in, in Whitehawk, so it'll adequately, adequately heat your coach, um, but it runs off your LP. Whereas this is electric, so when you're at the campsite and you're plugged in, you're using the campsite's electricity, and in the morning, I guarantee you, you turn this on, uh, it'll definitely take the chill off the coach. Uh, another criteria was making sure we maximize the size of our TVs, not only viewing angle, but maximize the size. So in this 32RL, 32 KBS, we have 50 inch TVs standard in this model. Another cool feature where we said we're gonna maximize the storage space this is on a little hinged area that you can open up and behind it you've got plenty of storage area nice little cubby and it's kind of hidden actually a um, couple drawers here deep drawers and then over here on the campsite or on the uh, the slide outside We've got a, a large size U dinette and we've kind of changed our table around, our table base a little bit. You used to have some bulky legs and we've got a lot of retail customer complaints that the table was hard to maneuver to, if you wanted to put it into a sleeping position. So we've got this new table. It's got a real sturdy base down in the, in the bottom of the dinette, but you don't, you're not gonna bash your legs when you're getting into the dinette. So it's really, really been a nice feature that we've added and uh, you can get a freestanding table and chairs in place of the dinette, but one other nice feature with the dinette is on the off camp side in this slide out, there's an exterior baggage door that gives you some exterior storage space right under this area. If you get the freestanding table and chairs, you will lose the baggage door and you'll, you'll lose that extra storage space. Now, we have this, uh, this 32 KBS is outfitted with a theater seating, which this is primarily a couple's coach. 
and most of the time they're going to want a uh, the theater seating which is nice because it's got heat massage it reclines and you can you know sit here and again you got great viewing angle to your tele 50 inch television can relax recline but you also we've had couples that have come in with small kids and say hey man we, we absolutely love this 32 kbs but we want we would love to have a sofa with it you know the trifold sofas that are so popular in the industry where we can fold out a queen or double bed so that's that's the standard item in the 32 kbs and then you can upgrade to these uh these theater seats okay so let's run here in the bathroom real quick just a few features that are pretty standard across the white hawk brand um again the bathroom is decor whether it's cashmere cottage or modern farmhouse white you have modern farmhouse white interior all of our white hawks are equipped with a uh, porcelain foot flush toilet and all of our white hawks have a 34 inch radius shower and then it has a solid glass enclosure so you and you've got again plenty of storage you've got a linen cabinet you've got a nice medicine cabinet and some storage underneath the sink one other as people have walked into the coach and they walk into the front and like, they have that wow factor i'm going to let lakin walk into the bathroom and to the left is a really really cool walk-in closet so you've got a ton of storage back here off your bathroom you've got the full length mirror so if you wanted to stand here and get ready you've got hooks up on this left side where you can hang things you've got some deep cubbies where you can store things deep drawers four actually nice deep drawers the bottom one being a, a large deep drawer and then you've got a collapsible shelf so you can lock this into place and utilize hanging space or leave it down and you got two areas for storage we've got 120 volt um, recep in here because i mean you could actually stand here you can see in the medicine cabinet could do your hair curl your hair whatever you needed to do i wouldn't have that problem because i'm half uh that pretty short hair but anyways that is the walkthrough on the 32 kbs again we're we're absolutely excited about this model we've had great dealer feedback on it when we debuted it last fall through the retail shows it's one of our strongest selling white hawks um if you get with your local dealer, I'm sure they have one in stock and you could see it live. Uh, I do want to take a few minutes now if we can walk over to the 32RL. We're not going to spend a lot of time outside. We're going to walk inside so I can show you the modern farmhouse white interior. Now, before I, before I talk to you a little bit, uh, Lakin can kind of pan around and show you the interior a little bit, but um, I wanted to show you this uh, dangler that we have that uh, is new to Whitehawk and it's optional on J Feather. It's called uh, J Command. And what J Command is, it's a, it's a smart based app that you can download on your iPhone or Droid, um, and it's under one control. So any new Jayco is going to have some codes that you can punch in. You can go up and set up the app and punch in. You're going to have a, 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 a pin code and then some codes to originally get you in there. Then you can change your passwords and so on and so forth. But what it does is from your smartphone app, it's going to allow you to control whether you're inside or out. You control your slide operation, so your slide out rooms. You can control your awnings. You can control stab jacks. You can control lighting. So it's just a smartphone app that we've added to Whitehawk. And again, it's optional on Jay Feather. Um, this is the modern farmhouse white. So again, your bedroom is going to be bourbon chocolate. Your bathroom is going to be modern farmhouse white. As you can see, your fireplace is bourbon chocolate and then your island as i said in the 32 kbs if it does have an island it's going to be in bourbon chocolate as well all the rest is the modern farmhouse white people have just gone crazy i'm, I'm not going to lie over this interior it's just been outstanding since we debuted in eagle last year so if you were to get the cashmere cottage interior just wherever you, whatever you just saw in the 32 kbs just replace these with the cashmere cottage and you'll still have the same accents that i discussed before nice thing about this 32rl 
and we've gotten rave reviews on it. Retail sales have been strong on it out of the gate. Is that when you walk in with the opposing deep slide with the, the uh, galley on this side, and then you're living your uh, dinette and theater seating on this side really opens the coach up. So <clears throat> that's been awesome. And this is our first triple slide Whitehawk. So we've got the two opposing slides and then the back, we've got a north south bed, but we have a wardrobe and uh, linen. The linen will go into the bathroom and the wardrobe will go into the bedroom, but you've got an additional third slide back there. Nice thing here, a couple features, and then, uh, then we'll let you get on with your day. Uh, it's an 84 inch trifold, so you actually have a king bed sleeping area in this. You still have the, the theater seating, so you've got a nice surround to what is really nice is a 50 inch TV built in behind the fireplace that is on a mechanical lift. So the great thing about that is when you're not watching TV or using it, hey, just put it down, recess it back into the cabinet, and look at all the countertop space. That has been another key feature is the amount of drawer space, cabinet space, and countertop space in this unit. We've got a couple cool little features built into some of the drawers. You've got a drawer within a drawer, so you could put silverware here add some things down and you know to the bottom of the silverware but tons of tons of cabinet space and drawer space and then one other feature that we've added for 2020 is you'll see the the dinette here and a lot of times you know you can get a standard booth dinette or option up to a freestanding table and a lot of times it's been four chairs stacy to state stacy stewart's design team came up with this design for an ottoman, which we've added. And it's nice because you can still sit here and you have the back of the slide wall. Well, I shut the, shut the light off to add as back support. But the ottoman is nice because underneath it, you have storage, added storage. But with its mobility, you could take it and move it over if you're not in use here, move it in front of the sofa and prop your feet up you know, to watch the game or watch a movie. And then we've got a nice little feature built into the freestanding table. It's on a strut, so you have a little bit of storage under the table, have an extension here, then you can drop the table, which is a nice little added feature. So um, I just want to take a few minutes then and just show you the bathroom and the bedroom. And then, like I said, we'll let you get back to enjoying your, your day. Um, you have entry from the bedroom and from the side hall. Again, 34 inch shower, porcelain foot flush toilet. You've got a nice medicine cabinet with accent lighting, uh, nice storage there. And then this is what I was talking about. Your, your pocket door will close and lock, but you've got a part of your slide out is linen space within the bathroom. And then you've got a couple other than your wardrobes along the front wall, you've got a couple nice drawers and more storage space. And this also has a collapsible shelf in the wardrobe. And again, yeah, I know it sounds corny, but I've had so many retail people tell me, and it just goes back to the front windshield, um, how awesome it is because there's been so many retail people that have said they love their White Hawk for the fact that since we introduced this in 2018, they can lay in bed and on a, on a nice, um, non-cloudy night they can look up and see the stars and just lay there and relax. Um, we added a new light to the uh, White Hawk for 2020 and that's all you do is tap it. You can get you can get white light. You can put on a blue accent at night and just leave that on as a little night light or hit it again and you get a little bit even bit more ambience. We also took our uh, wardrobes and we built them out a little bit and what we did, see if we, is there is a 120 volt outlet in each one. So you could, you've got USB 120 volt charge up here where you could set your phone, but you could also put a phone back there. You could put a PPAP, throw your glasses, a book. It's just a nice little storage area built up by the head of the bed. Okay. I think that's a uh, that's about it on the 32 RL. And again, thank you for your time. I want to turn it over to Ashley to see if she has any, any closing comments. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah, go ahead, Ash. Thanks, Sean. That was great. Um, if you have questions, like we said early on, 
drop them into the comments below this video. We'll be sure to answer you. Everything also can be found on Jaco.com. So any question you might have about these two floor plans or the White Hawk line in general, just go to Jaco.com and you should be able to find what you need there. Thanks for joining. Thank you for your time, Jaco Nation.